We're going to be doing a deep analytical dive on the numbers of two single family homes in the Cleveland market. Cowboy, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. Right now, I'm doing this show uh, from the home studio due to coronavirus. You guys know the deal, but just remember, we are still full systems to go here at Holton Wise. The only people working off-site are non-essential employees, people like myself or other media and sales staff that don't necessarily have to be in the field to do their job efficiently for you guys. They are working off-site, but all of our maintenance techs, our repair folks, they are all in the field at these properties taking care of business. So we are all systems go here. And uh, what I'm doing today, I'm working for my man, Cowboy, okay? Cowboy, you are a cop, a police officer from New York City. This is not your first uh, dip uh, into the water uh, of real estate investing, so to speak. You tried this back in 2006, and uh, it did not go so hot for you, brother. You, uh, it sounds like you lost your home to foreclosure. Uh, you know, there, there is risks involved when you're investing in real estate, but uh, that's why you're doing the show with me right now. You're getting me to take a deep dive into these properties and really try to protect your, uh, your money. So that doesn't happen to you again. And you are interested in single family homes and you're utilizing uh, a pre-approval you have for $70,000. So let's try to find you some cash flow, but also some relatively low risk investments here, right? So uh, we don't see you run into trouble again. So the first property I want to talk to you about is 632 Blossom Drive, Lorain, Ohio, 44052. Now, this has been listed by a company called uh, Minich Realty. They listed this uh, quite a while ago, 116 days on the market. He listed it for $56,000. And this is just a nice little uh, low-key ranch, man, low risk. Dude, I like a little tiny house like this, right? You know, we got three beds, one bath, which is key. Uh, for getting the rent to uh, the number we need, but it's, you know, it's small, not a lot can go wrong, and it's more or less cosmetically ready to rock and roll. I don't foresee any major upfront costs coming your way uh, to get a tenant in here. The flooring looks nice, the walls, you know, they're all freshly painted, neutral color. We got nice white trim, the kitchen, you know, the kitchen isn't uh, incredibly impressive, but you know, it works, man. This is, uh, you know, it's going to be nice. We got, you know, a little Home Depot or Lowe's quality cabinetry, uh, countertop. It's, it's, you know, it's clean. It's modern. It's fresh. You know, this, again, this ain't knocking your socks off. It's not knocking my socks off. But for what we are trying to accomplish, uh, this will work just fine, man. I like it a lot. The mechanicals, dude, look at that furnace. That is not an old furnace. I bet that thing's like five years or less. And, you know, the costs on furnaces, dudes, we're looking at approximately $3,000 every 30 years to replace furnaces. So the fact that we got newer uh, furnace right there, that's great, man. The hot water tank looks to be pretty new. Those are going to run you approximately $1,000 to replace. And those, you got to replace them every 15 years. I bet that one's only a couple years old. We got an updated electrical panel right there. Uh, the roof on this sucker, I don't know the age of it. They haven't said anything, but it does not appear to be old to me. And this is going to be a cheap roof to replace, all right? Uh, this is a tiny little house, dude. You're you're, you're going to be under $4,000 most likely to replace this roof whenever you do need to do it. And that is something that you also need to replace every every uh, 30 years, right? So with uh, with all this, man, I like this house quite a bit, but I still think we can score a deal here because it's been on the market for quite some time. The seller might be getting some fatigue. They might want to sell it. We might be able to take advantage of the coronavirus situation right now. A lot of people are not necessarily trying to invest. They're a little nervous with the economic fallout with that. So uh, let's take this time. Let's get aggressive and let's try to pick this sucker up for you for 40 thousand dollars now this is the best case scenario bro i'm not saying if we can't get it at 40 don't do the deal the deal will still work at 45 
the deal will probably still work at 47, 48, but I don't really want to see you go much higher than that, right? But target, target, I want to pick this up for you for 40. I want to see you fucking score an awesome deal. Pick this bad boy up at 40. Now, with everything, right? I anticipate us putting a tenant in there at 950 a month. Now, I don't think we really need to do much, if any, renovations to this home, but before we close, you know, two things are going to happen. One, we're going to get a third-party home inspection for you. You're going to you're going to hire a home inspector. If you want referrals, I'll send them to you. But anybody you want, man, if you want, Google it. Pick anybody you want. Total arm's length here. I want a complete unbiased opinion on this property for you. They can go in and see if there's any issues that we are not seeing. In addition to that, before Holton Wise puts a tenant in there, my team, they're going to go in. They're going to do the safety check. Make sure everything is kosher, right? Things like the number of smoke detectors. Are they in the appropriate rooms? Do they work? Is there minor leaks here or there? If we've got a window, will the window open and close freely or do we have to stick a piece of wood in there? Things like that. In addition to all that, we're also going to try to go the Section 8 program. So Section 8 is then going to send somebody out to inspect it as well. So I said two things, but I actually mean three. There's really going to be three things. So private home, private third-party home inspection. My team doing the rent ready inspection to ensure that this meets our minimum rental criteria for safety for the tenants and a section eight inspection. So after all three of those things happen, you might be spending, you know, a few bucks, a few hundred, maybe a thousand or so. Uh, I'm not sure remains to be seen, but you know, with all that stuff, but after that, we should have a section eight approved house ready to rock. And we are going to put a tenant paying probably $950 a month into that sucker. And of that 950 things you're going to need to account for, you know, your repairs and maintenance, right? Now that's, you're probably not going to see a lot of repairs in a tiny little house like this happening while the tenant's living there, but that's just like saving that money for when the tenant eventually moves out and we got to do another turnover, right? Vacancy and non-payment. We're alleviating as many non-payment risks as humanly possible, right? This neighborhood is by no means like a super high end neighborhood, but it's also not a dangerous neighborhood. I'd, I'd peg this as like, you know, a low C class neighborhood, right? You know, we got not a lot of income here, but you know, we're picking the houses up for 40 K and we're going to get those nice government guaranteed tenants up in there, man. So, uh, you know, 47 a month, we're going to account for eventually people turning over or, you know, heaven forbid, we got to evict some folks now doing the section eight route. Our, our evictions are going to be way, way down because, you know, it's kind of hard not to pay your rent when you don't have to pay your rent. Right. If you're a section eight tenant, you don't have to actually pay us rent for us to still get the rent, man. The government's doing that. So eviction should be down, but we're still going to count for that. Capital expenditures, I already spoke on that earlier, man. That's our roofs, our furnaces, hot water tanks. So we are going to account 47 per month for all that jazz. Taxes, dude, they're cheap, 76. That's what's great about Lorraine, right? Lorraine is not in Cuyahoga County, so the taxes are a little bit cheaper. Holton Wise, we are based out of a suburb called Parma, which borders Cleveland, right? This is the Cleveland market. You guys all, on a national scale, you think Cleveland, right? That's the main hub, but we're, you know, we're really investing in the greater Cleveland neighborhood all, all area, all the other suburbs and whatnot, and Cleveland itself is located in Cuyahoga County. Lorraine is one county to the west, Okay, the taxes are lower, which is going to be really nice. Now, something's going to offset that, though, is Holton Wise, because, you know, this is a county over. It's a little farther away. I want you guys to go to the property management fact, download a copy of our property management agreement. We do need to charge you folks a small surcharge every time we physically go to the property. This is not a monthly charge. Your PM fees are still going to be 10%, guys. Your leasing fees still going to be one month's rent. Just every time I physically need to get one of my team members to set foot on your property, we have to charge you a small surcharge to make up for you know the additional drive time gas, things of that nature. Uh, but that is going to be offset by the taxes uh, for sure being lower than Cuyahoga County. And this is not just Lorraine County, folks. This goes for any county we manage in that's outside of Cuyahoga. We will manage everything in Cuyahoga County, and then we will also manage everything in a county that borders Cuyahoga County. But if it is in a county that is bordering Cuyahoga County, we must have the surcharge to make up for our loss on drive time, gas, labor, things of that nature. But again, all these surrounding counties, much, much cheaper taxes. So it's more or less going to be a wash for you folks. The returns are solid. Now, last but not least, uh, water and sewer and lawn care. I already touched on PM fees, right? Still going to be 95 a month. Water and sewer. 
75, you got to pay for that. And then lawn care, we're going to have the tenant take care of grass. You don't got to pay for that. It's a great reason to go single family homes. You take your multifamily properties, your multifamily properties are typically going to provide you a higher price to rent ratio. You can get more rent for the same amount of house kind of thing, right? That's cool, but you're also going to get increased turnovers, which means more turnover costs, more repair costs. And you're also going to have to pay for lawn care, right? So some folks like to go to the single family route, right? Because they get longer tenancies and they don't have to pay for grass. So that's what we're going to take advantage of here. So of the 950 that's going to come in, I anticipate on average spending 447 a month, leaving you with an NOI of 503. If we pick this up at the price I want to hit it, man, $40,000, you're only going to need to put down $10,000 into this deal. The bank will loan you the other $30,000. That is going to be a 45% cash on cash return for this 15 cap property. That's why I like this property. That's why I think it's going to be great for you, Cowboy. We're going to balance things out. We're going to get you some cash flow, but we're also going to alleviate risks, keep you safe, because I don't want to see you talking to somebody another 10 years from now, like, yeah, I tried real estate in 2006. My house got foreclosed. Then I tried it again in 2020 with Holton Wise, and it got foreclosed again. I don't want to see that happen to you, brother, so I'm going to keep you safe. And this investment works great for that. Now, I'm going to go to a quick word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into another property in the same neighborhood. Similar numbers. I think it's also going to work for you. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage. With an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, Cowboy, let's jump right into the second property, brother. 229 Idaho Avenue, Lorain, Ohio, 44052. This sucker, listed by Russell Real Estate, for 58500 This is another one that I think we're going to try to take advantage of some seller fatigue here. This sucker's been on the market for almost a year, dude, 251 days. It's been on the market forever. Now, this is a five-bedroom, one-bathroom home. The tenant is a Section 8 tenant, and they're paying $760 a month or $9,120 a year. Cruising through the photos, dude, you see? You know, it's a pretty nice home, right? Nothing span, uh, special or fancy. It's just, you know, it's just a home. It's a typical home you're going to see rented by a Section 8 tenant. You know, they got all their stuff in there. This is a long-term tenant. They have been there for over five years, and they are currently on a month-to-month -month lease. And I want to talk about uh, the tenant's rent. I think that is incredibly important the story uh, this is going to be a nice learning experience for everyone who's watching right now this is all about section eight okay now bigger bedroom counts right four bedroom five bedroom these things are big when we're dealing with section eight properties right you see what happens is tenants they're given a voucher based upon bedrooms and that has to do with their family size right so tenants might get a two bedroom voucher a three bedroom voucher a four bedroom voucher or a five bedroom voucher the larger the, va the voucher is, the more rent Section 8 is going to pay. Now, here is the thing that a lot of people don't know. 
sometimes landlords will place tenants into properties. Uh, you might have a four bedroom home and you may have found a tenant with a two bedroom voucher and you may as a landlord opt to place them in your four bedroom property anyway. You're gonna get less rent, but it's at your discretion to take that lower voucher tenant. So being that the rent is only 760, that is way, 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 way lower than I would anticipate a five bedroom voucher tenant having, right? So maybe five years ago, uh, it could have been a few things, right? It could have been, um, you know, the tenant had a much smaller voucher and the landlord took them. It could have been the tenant had a bunch of kids and they had a bigger voucher back in the day, but then their kids turned 18 and then the section eight, they uh, reduced her voucher amount, but the landlord decided to keep her because he liked her as a tenant kind of thing, right? So we don't know the exact story, but note that this rent 760 a month, this is not going to be like the rent for long term unless you chose it to be. We can get well over a thousand dollars a month for this particular property going the section eight route because those five bedrooms are nothing but money makers for us. Here is the cool thing though. Even with this existing long-term five-year tenant paying that 760, the house is still going to cash flow. So you don't need to make the decision on what to do right now today. You could still pick it up for a good price with her in there at 760 and still make money. Now, because of the fact that this thing is rented way under market, and it's been listed forever. I want to try to pick this up for 40,000 as well, just like the last property. Now, I'm not saying we're going to score both of these deals for you for 40k. You may have to pay more, man, but that's my target. That's where we're going to start things off. That's where we're going to try to target. We're going to start the offers at 40 and see what we could do. Both of these are going to be a win if you can pick them up anywhere in the 40s, right? Once you start going over 50, you know, I don't like them for you as much. But let's just say we pick this thing up at 40. Now, arguably, I would say this is a more valuable home. It's much bigger. The neighborhood is even better. It's still C-class, but it's better, right? Take a look at the map right now, dude. Yeah, that big blue thing right there, that's Lake Erie, okay? You're right down the street from Lake, Lake Erie, man. You want to walk your dog to the lake, you can, right? There's some serious value there. But we're going to try to take advantage of the fact that there is a tenant in there paying nothing, right? Because the seller, he can't try to sell this to owner-occupied folks right now, so they're cut out of the equation, right? That's the big, huge number of buyers that are just unable to buy this property because there's a tenant in there. And then you take the investor buyers. Those buyers are already cut, you know, probably in half right now because half of them are scared shitless of the coronavirus. So now, you know, all your owner-occupied people, they're out of the equation. A bunch of investors, they're out of the equation because of the coronavirus. And then you take a bunch of other investors, they're out of the equation because the property's got lower rents than it should, dude. That's why I think we can come in and score this for a hell of a deal. That's why we're going to try to target 40K, man. So even at this low-ass rent, 760 a month, dude, after we run through all of our expenses, I anticipate you'll spend 397 on average of that 760 leaving you with an NOI of 363 a month, okay? We finance this bad boy, same deal, man. 10K, it's all you need. All you need is $10,000 out of your pocket. Bank will loan you 30K. After you pay that teeny tiny mortgage, dude, you should still clear 237 a month, bringing you a property with a cash on cash return of 28.4%. And that is with a tenant in there paying probably $300 lower than what she should. Imagine the numbers a few years from now when we have some type of natural turnover or maybe we've raised this tenant's rent and you're getting over a thousand bucks a month, dude. This thing is a solid earner for you. And again, back to the map, you are literally right there on Lake Erie. Now, with your pre-approval 70K, I don't know if you have the ability to take both of these down. It'd be great if you could. I think they would both work for you, and I'd like to start negotiating with the listing agents on both of these. Again, I want to start at 40, and uh, if we can score them at 40, that would be great, but that is still going to be best case scenario. We may have to come up just a teeny bit, but you know, other things that are cool, right? We, may, we might start at 40, okay? And then maybe we end up at like 44, and then we do the third party home inspection, all that stuff I talked about, all that due diligence and some new like minor issues that uh, we didn't know about that we can't see from this MLS, uh, MLS search analysis video. We see, I can go back to those sellers, go back to those listing agents and use that as a negotiating tactic. And you know, we started at 40, maybe we ended up at 44, but then maybe I get us right back down to 40, right? This is kind of 
the dance that we've got to play when we uh, negotiate and transact uh, real estate deals, right? Pretty much every deal I do, uh, we go under contract at one price, then we get the inspection, then we end up at a little bit lower price. And, you know, so 40s, you know, our goal, we end up at 44, we might end up back at 40, dude. It's just, it's how those things shake out. No guarantees, but things do shake out like that quite a bit, cowboy. So I love both of these for you, brother. Uh, let me know your feedback. Uh, you know, we sent this to you in an email. You're looking at this in an email, private link. Nobody else can see this but you at this moment in time. Everyone else who's watching this, it's probably been two to three months since we sent this to Cowboy in that private link before I released it publicly for you guys all to watch and learn. If you want to work with us one-on-one -on -one like my guy Cowboy, go to HoltonWise.com, property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show, order yourself a package. During the coronavirus pandemic, I'm doing a huge sale right now. 10 properties for the low, low price of $1,999. This is an unheard of sale. Normally we charge $7.99 per property for this type of thing. Uh, but you know, half the people are out there running scared. So I want to give those folks who are acting aggressively the opportunity to get some movement, to make some things happen. And you don't have to do it all at once, man. If you guys are only pre-approved to do like one deal, We'll do one video, maybe two videos. You know, sometimes the deals don't work out. You know, we do a couple to get you that deal, and then we'll just pause the rest of them. And these don't expire, guys. You don't have to use these all in 60 or 90 days or anything like that. You know, we put them in your account. You know, it's notated in our records. And, dude, if you guys need to, if it takes you six months, 12 months, 18 months to get your financial house in order, uh, by the time you're ready to move on your next deal, that's totally cool, man. Real estate is a get rich slow game. You don't have to come in and be a brand new investor and then build a 50 unit portfolio in six months. It doesn't work that way. It takes years. I've been investing in real estate for over 10 years now, guys. It takes time. This is a long term game. So these things do not expire. So that's how you guys can work with us, just like Cowboy. In addition to that, if uh, you don't need a lot of hand-holding and you just want to browse our inventory, you could also check out by clicking the Property Search for Sale tab. The other way to buy properties from us is the Investment Properties for Sale tab, all right? Check that out. Subscribe to our mailing list, and we'll email you that show every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a video tour of the properties we have been hired by sellers to sell or things that I'm selling from my portfolio. Uh, that we flipped into turnkey assets or things of that nature, okay? Full video tour, full breakdown, so you guys see how much these properties will make you. And you'll just be able to submit bids to us. Note that those usually have multiple offers because, you know, we are the number one seller in the Cleveland market. We have a worldwide audience. Uh, but those are the two ways you guys could uh, work with our team to start building your, uh, your real estate portfolios or expanding your current real estate portfolio portfolios or if you're on the other side of things and you want to downsize and you want to sell your real estate portfolios and you want to put those suckers on Holton Wise TV, you know, we got the opportunity for you guys to do that, right? That's all I've got today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RedTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.